Hmm. Let's see what what are we gonna be working on today? Hmm. I got an idea. We're going to get Raspberry Pi 4. We will configure it, update it, install Plex Media Server, and install some VPN and install some remote control software. Sounds like a good idea. I don't know. Let's find out. Okay, first thing first. On your PC or Mac, you need to go ahead and head over to raspberrypi.org, select noob zip file, and download it. The zip file should go automatically to your downloads folder. Once that is complete, you need to check and ensure that your SD card is formatted to FAT32. If it is not, go ahead and do that. Next, you need to go back to your downloads folder, right click, and extract all to your SD card. This process can take up to 10 minutes. Once extraction is complete, safely remove your SD card from your computer and insert it into your Raspberry Pi. If you plan on installing a fan, this illustration will show you how to do that. As you can see, one of the options is for a 5 volts connection, which will run the fan on high. The other option is a 3 volts connection, which will run the fan on low, making it run quieter. Since I am only using this for Plex Media Server, I like the fan on low. Next, you need to make sure that the air is blowing into the heatsink not blowing air out. Here is how I check. If you have a Raspberry Pi case, go ahead and assemble it, and connect all the cables. You do not have to connect your Ethernet cable if you don't have access to an Ethernet port. You will be prompted to enter your Wi-Fi password during the setup process. When you connect all the cables, including the power cable, your Raspberry Pi should start automatically. Upon start up, you will be presented with multiple options. For this tutorial, you must check Raspbian only, and click install on the top left corner of your screen. This process will take 15 to 20 minutes. When Raspbian installation is complete, the system will ask you to reboot the Pi, so go ahead and do that. On startup, you will be prompted to enter a new password. It is very important to enter a new password. After that, you will be asked to select your existing Wi-Fi network, and your Wi-Fi password. You can do that if you chose to. Next, you will be asked to do a system update. You can say yes, or skip this step. Keep in mind, that if you agree to software update, the process may take up to 30 minutes. I prefer to skip this step, and manually perform the update later on. In order to update Raspbian, simply open up your terminal window, and type in the following commands. When your system finishes all the updates, go ahead and reboot it. Now, go ahead and open up Chromium Web Browser on your Raspberry Pi, and type in Plex.tv, go to the Downloads section, and download Plex Media Server for Linux. Make sure you download the version that says Ubuntu Debian ARM version 7. The file should be downloaded into your Raspbian Downloads folder. Locate the downloaded file, right-click, and select Package Install. This will initiate the installation process as shown in this video. Let's go ahead and refresh the system one more time and doing a reboot. This next step is very important. What we are trying to do, is, to mount an external media source. It can be a USB stick or an external hard drive. Type in mount in your terminal, and hit enter. 
Look for your storage devices. In my case, I connected a 3 terabytes hard drive to my Raspberry Pi. As you can see here, it says DevSDA2. You may have something different, especially if you have multiple devices connected to your USB ports. So the media that I want to access in Plex is in my SDA2 which, is my 3 terabytes attached hard drive. So, I am going to make note of that, and type in the following line. And hit enter. You can either copy and paste from the text on the comment at the bottom, or type in the following line. Note that my hard drive is formatted as NTFS, that is why I am entering NTFS. Press Ctrl O, hit Enter to save and Ctrl X to exit. Now follow these steps to create a library folder, and to finish the setup. Now, let's locate the library folder that we just created. The folder should contain all the media in your attached storage device. Click on the folders icon on top of your window. Click on Home, and look for MNT directory. Inside the MNT directory you will see your library folder which will contain your files. You can add or remove files from it as you please. Okay, now to the fun stuff. Open up your Plex Media Server, and create an account or log in to your existing account. Got it. Now, give your Plex Server a name. You have the option to allow access to your media from outside your home, or uncheck the box to say no. Hit Next. Here you will see some existing libraries. You can add more if you need to. Simply follow this step-by-step -step video and you will be up and running in no time. Keep in mind that when you add libraries, you may not be able to see them on your drop-down menu. You will need to log off, and log back into your Plex Media Server for them to appear. Happy Plexing! Now, let's go ahead and activate VNC. Go to Start menu, select Raspberry Pi Configuration, click on the Interfaces tab, enable VNC and click OK. That is it. This will allow you to remotely control your Raspberry Pi from another computer or tablet. This is optional. It is simply a matter of convenience, especially if you don't have a dedicated monitor, or keyboard and mouse to your Raspberry Pi. In this next part of the video, we will be downloading and installing VPN. We are using ExpressVPN for this tutorial. If you already have an account, go ahead and log in and download ExpressVPN for Linux. Make sure you select the file that says Raspbian 32-bit. After downloading the file, locate the file in your downloads folder. Right-click, and click on Install Package as we did with Plex earlier in this video. Next, open up your terminal and type in ExpressVPN Activate. You will be asked for your activation code. 
The activation code can be found in your ExpressVPN account online. Go ahead and copy it and paste it when asked to. Keep in mind that the code will not be visible in your Raspbian terminal when you paste it in. Hit enter to continue. To connect to your VPN, simply type in ExpressVPN Connect. Type in ExpressVPN status to check the status of your connection. To disconnect, type in ExpressVPN Disconnect. For the next block of instructions, we need to do some homework. We need to get the IP address of our Raspberry Pi. To get the IP address of the Pi, we are going to type in the following command. Your local network IP address will display. Make sure you copy it or save it for the next step. Now let's explore some fun tricks. We're going to check out some remote control possibilities. We will be installing RASP controller on our Android phone and configure it to access the Raspberry Pi. We're also going to use a wise smart switch to turn on or off the Raspberry Pi using Amazon Echo. But before we do that, we need to enable SSH on our Raspberry Pi. We are going to open the terminal window and type in the command displayed on the screen. We will select the interfacing options. Select SSH and enable it. Now, let's go back to our mobile device and connect to the Raspberry Pi. On our RASP controller app, we are going to enter the Raspberry Pi IP address. We will leave SSH port as 22. The SSH port can be changed, but we will leave it as 22 for this tutorial. We will also leave the timeout at 10 seconds. The default username for the Raspberry Pi is Pi. We will use the password that we created during the initial setup of the Raspberry Pi. That is all we need to do at this point. Using RASP controller will allow us to browse media folders, execute commands, reboot or shut down the Pi, and so much more. Lastly, we are going to add Wise Smart Power Plug to turn on and to turn off the Raspberry Pi. If you choose to use a smart power plug, download the appropriate app to your mobile device and add the app skill to your Amazon device. In this demonstration, we are using Wise Smart Plug and Amazon Echo Dot. Watch this quick demonstration. Alexa, Plex on. Alexa, Plex off. all right ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed this video i hope this helped if you like this video give it a thumbs up see you later or you see me later okay.